Our next topic is polynomials and related concepts. The word polynomials has two components, poly and nomials. So poly means many in Greek language and nomials mean names. So in algebra, this means terms. So any expression which has some algebraic terms, some finite number of algebraic terms is a polynomial. Let us take an example. 15 x raised to the power 7 minus 4 x raised to the power 6 plus 5 x 5 minus 3. So this is a polynomial because it has four terms. First term, second term, third term and the fourth term. And as you know from the last lecture that a term has three components. So let's take this term. It has three components. It has a coefficient which is 15. It has a variable or base which is x and it has an exponent which is 7. So now that we are talking about polynomials why this is important for us to keep this in mind that any term has these three components because there are some related concepts which involve the understanding of exponents. So the first thing you should note here is that in any polynomial the exponents must be non-negative integers. So if I have an expression 13x4 plus root x. So this is not a polynomial because x root root x means x raised to the power 1 divided by 2 which is not an integer which is a rational number which is a fraction. So this cannot be a polynomial. This is the first thing you should know that a polynomial must have all of its comp all of its exponents as non-negative integers. So what about this minus 3? Is this a algebraic term? Where is the base? Well, if you recall your exponent lecture, any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So it means x raised to the power 0 is 1. So I can write this minus 3 as minus 3 x raised to the power 0. Now it has a base and it has an exponent. So it means this is also a polynomial term. In this lecture, you learned that a polynomial is an expression, an algebraic expression which has some terms. Terms could be 1, 2, 3 or 4 but finite number of terms. It could be thousand of terms but finite number of terms. And even it can has a numbers like 3, 4, 5, any number. Now we are going to discuss some of the related concepts. So the first thing is I'm going to number these things but I may skip any number. So the first concept is monomials. So monomials are the polynomials with only one term. So if I have an algebraic term 5x square, so this is a monomial because it is an it is a polynomial with only one term. So it is a monomial. The second concept is binomials. These are you can say one way of describing the types of polynomials. There are few ways to describe the types of polynomials. This is one way which is based on the number of terms. So we are classifying the polynomials based on the number of terms. But there are other ways of classification as well which I am going to explain next. But binomials are the polynomials which have two terms. 5x cubed plus 5 is a binomial. A plus B is a binomial. C plus Z is a binomial. Any letter, any two terms. Now, you might have noticed that this has only X in it. But these two have two letters, two variables. And this is another way of classifying the polynomials. And that is 
univariate polynomial univariate polynomial is a polynomial which has only one variable it means all the terms are in one variable 5 x square minus 3x plus 5 only x 2a plus 2 only a so these are all univariate polynomials now the multivariate polynomials are the polynomials which have more than one variables such as 2 x square y cube plus 5 x y square minus 2 x y plus 3 this is a multivariate polynomial because it has two variables x and y x y so if even one of the term has two variables for example we have a term 5 x cube y plus 2 x plus 3 y minus 3 for example so only one term has two variables even then it will be a multivariate polynomial because in this term we can say that y is 0 because y 0 is 1 in this term we can say x is 0 x has exponent of 0 so it is still a polynomial a multivariate polynomial so this is another way of classifying the polynomial which is based on the number of variables this way is classifying the polynomial based on the number of terms so you should be just familiar with these two things that these are here we are classifying based on number of terms and in this case we are classifying the polynomial based on number of variables so you just should know these terms so the next related concept i think number 5 is the degree of the polynomial so again an example take an example of 5 x 3 y first take a single variable polynomial 5 x cube minus 2 x square plus 2 so the degree of the polynomial is the maximum exponent in any of the terms so this term has an exponent of 3 this term has an exponent of 2 this term has an exponent of 0 so the maximum exponent in any of the terms of polynomial is 3 so this is the degree of the polynomial the maximum exponent so this was the case of a single variate or univariate polynomial now if we have a polynomial in two variables multivariate polynomial so let us take 4 x 6 y plus 3 x 4 y 4 plus 5 x y minus 2 so in this case when the polynomial is a multivariate polynomial how we find a degree we add the exponents of both variable we add these two exponents these two exponents these two exponents and what is the value of this exp total exponents of this term 6 plus 1 equals 7 4 plus 4 8 1 plus 1 2 and here both has zero exponent so 0 plus 0 is 0 so the maximum exponent is 8 so the degree of the polynomial is 8 degree of this polynomial will be 8 if you look it if you look it carelessly you might think that the degree is 6 because it looks 6 is the largest exponent but actually it is not when there are two variables you have to add the exponents in all the terms of both variables and then you find the maximum so this is how you find the degree of the polynomial 
Sometimes people confuse this degree with the order of the polynomial. Order. But this is not a concept for polynomials. This is mostly we use in calculus for differential equations. But sometimes people use this degree as an order of the polynomial. So it's up to you. Now the next concept is leading coefficient of a polynomial. So if we have a polynomial 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5. So for in order to find the leading coefficient, first we find the term with the highest exponent, the largest exponent. So this is the term with the largest exponent because it's a single variate polynomial. So 3 is the term with the largest exponent. So the coefficient of this term is the leading coefficient. So if I write a polynomial like minus 2x plus 5x4 minus 3x squared, although this minus 2 looks like a leading coefficient when we write this like this, but actually the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the largest of the term having a largest exponent. So this is the term having the largest exponent 4. So the leading coefficient would be 5. This is the one source of error sometimes. And the second is that if I write another, take another example, minus 5x cubed plus 5x4 minus 3x5. Now in this case, the term with the highest, the largest, the term with the largest exponent is 5. So what is the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient of this term is minus 3. So you must take into account the sign. Now, there are few examples which are not polynomials. For example, minus 5 x raised to the power 6 plus 2 divided by x minus 5. This is not a polynomial. Why this is not a polynomial? Because for all terms of a polynomial, the exponent must be a non-negative integer. Non-negative integer. If you look at the second term, this term is basically 2 x raised to the power minus 1. And this is a negative integer. So therefore, this is not a polynomial. First example 1. Take another example. 7x square plus root x. This is not a polynomial because of this term. Root x means x raised to the power half. So this is positive but not integer. So we are looking for integer, non-negative integer. So this is non-negative but not integer. It's a rational number. It's a fractional number. So therefore, this is not a polynomial. You will find these type of questions in quizzes. So these were some of the related things I wanted to highlight about polynomials.